today's video, we'll be exploring some cool HTML tags. For example, we'll see how this color picker is generated, how we can enable camera to take images as well as record videos on mobile. And if you are typing something in a text area, how you can enable spell check, how you can make a div editable and how you can force download a particular file and that too by providing it a specific name. Apart from that, we'll also look how we can make an image draggable or any element draggable and then how we can have embedded websites iframe with controlled access so here you can see the color picker that we have over here if i select any color that is getting selected over here and that's the current selection so for that we just need to have one line of code over here as you can see input type color this is the input type that you need to specify in order to have a color picker on your page it's just one line of code similarly if you want to enable camera to take pictures on your mobile what you can do in your html is specify capture user as the attribute and then along with that you also specify accept image so when you will have this thing and the page will be accessed via mobile device the users will be able to take a picture and if we just change this a bit from user to environment. So if the capture is set to environment and accept is set to video, you're basically invoking video recording capabilities on your mobile device using this one line of code. Then we have the text area. Now, if we are making any mistake, for example, if I go in over here and I try typing inconvenience for that matter, You can see that it just checks that spelling and if you right click on this you can just go in and choose the correct word so that's spell check built in for you in text area with this attribute being set to true then we have content editable now this is very cool if you have a div and you have a content inside it if you just put this content editable is equal to true in that case whatever content you are writing in a div if i show you over here this is a div that we are editing right now so you just go in here and you can type something okay i can edit this so you have a div which is editable and then the next one that we have over here is like forcing a file to download rather than open up a new tab and there show the file so here let's say you have a document.pdf and all you need to do is just mention download equals and then a file name so when you click on this one you'll notice that it is just prompting you to download this with that particular file so file.pdf is the name of the file that we have provided over here in the download attribute and that's how easy it is to make an anchor tag download a file using the download attribute finally we have a draggable image over here so for that we just need to set the draggable attribute set to true now if you see draggable equals true and you try dragging this image you are able to drag it you can see that it's being dragged now if i just set it to false and here now i try dragging it it's not happening so just by adding this attribute you make an element draggable let's switch it back to true and then finally we have this iframe with sandbox now the sandbox attribute that we have over here like allow same origin allow scripts basically restricts what the embedded page can do in this case we are allowing same origin and script execution so to conclude we have explored various html input types and elements each with its own set of attributes and functionality and by understanding these HTML elements and their attributes, we can create more engaging and interactive web forms and content. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful for your web development projects.